Hello and welcome to the stock market analysis. Today we're going to continue to look at uh, popular stock Apple. So without further ado, let's take a look at the daily chart of Apple. Now as you can see, the stock is uh, finding support at this support area, this previous low. Let me just draw the uh, spot area. Now previously, the stock has found support at the 200-day moving average and this provided uh, short-term trades. We can, for example, you can buy here, ride it up. Here as well, there's a double bottom at the 200 MA. You can buy and ride it up for a swing trade. Here also, it tried to find support, but eventually it dropped below the 200 MA and this caused some worries among investors because you know if this support does not hold as I said in my past analysis the uh, stock can drop all the way uh, even more than that now today we can see the stock uh, breaking uh, one of the downtrend lines trying to break above the downtrend line uh, as the stock finds support and if we can break above downtrend line, this can signal a change in trend from bearish to bullish. Now let's switch to the hourly chart. Hourly chart stock has been trading sideways a bit, forming a consolidation here. Today it gaps up above this consolidation. And uh, what we can learn from this is that as long as the stock stays above this consolidation area, most likely it's going to continue to uh, move higher from there. You can see that it's trying to break above this downtrend line. <clears throat> so um, let's switch to the weekly chart. Uh, let me remove the drawing tools. Uh, okay. Now, um, this stock, corrected to this support area and then it formed a doji here now doji signals indecision or if there is a sell-off in the weekly charts this tells us that the bearish momentum is slowing down now if the bearish momentum was not slowing down this would be have a would have been a big red candle which will sell off down to here but since there's a doji it signals a slowing down of bearish momentum and also an indecision among the bears or the bulls whether it will go down even more so um some may say see this as a uh, um what the haramai bullish haramai pattern okay um we can see this spot area here where this price support okay okay this area here all right all right this is a support area and as long as Apple manages to stay above this support area, most likely it's going to continue to move higher from that. That is just a principle of support and resistance. Let me just remove all drawing tools. Now, what I'm going to show you now is the uh, weekly chart of Apple along with uh, the Bollinger Bands. This is the Bollinger Bands and uh, uh, MACD and uh, Stochastics. Uh, at this moment, uh, it is uh, quite oversold. A buy signal is uh, appearing in the weekly chart stochastics. Um, if the MACD histogram shortens, right, there is a possibility that bearish momentum is slowing down and we might see it moving higher. Now, the Bollinger Bands also tells us that it has moved to the extreme range. You can see when it touches the uh, lower band, tends to go back up or back up touch the upper band it tends to go down and right now it's touching the lower band and you can see an example here as well two bottoming tails at the lower band and the stock move back up so um, there are signs that uh, bearish momentum is slowing down and uh, you might want to take a look at it and see uh, whether the stock can continue to move up from there all right mm. Let's take a look at our intraday charts, the 15 minute. Sorry, let me just use this. It's better without all those uh, you know, just, uh, indicators. You can see that uh, it's in the trading range in the 15 minute chart and is broken out of this uh, consolidation moving up higher. And this is uh, from a short term perspective, this is where we support area as long as it stays above this. Uh, spot area most likely is going to continue higher okay so um five minute charts yes it get up above the previous days high above all this and uh yeah the, a very nice uh 
like bottoming tail kind of pattern which uh, day traders will of course jump in with a stop loss and maybe ride it higher so um stock is um turning back to bullish even in the short term um two hour chart you can see uh things a bit clearer you know sometimes it's um later let me draw in truths okay i know we go through a lot of uh time frames but if you learn multiple time frame analysis it can help you actually to see things clearer you can see how the stock uh, is trying to break a downtrend line and this could uh, usher in a new wave up new uptrend in the uh, two hour chart as well and uh, you can see how the stock breaks uh, downtrend line here and it went up at least for a few days okay maybe this might go up a few days we don't know but uh, you know things are looking turning from uh, bearish to bullish at this moment okay you want to pay attention to the slows here okay as long as the stock stays above the lows most likely it's uh, may make may move up higher now it's gone above the uh, daily 20 ma okay soon if it goes back above the 50 ma then you might see it uh, moving up higher who knows maybe it will go up and break up to new highs so i hope uh, this analysis has been helpful to you um, it's my <laughs> version of analysis i hope that it helps you okay um, you might have your own thoughts you might have your own thinking but that's okay so uh, if you enjoy this analysis please uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more analysis like this and i'll see you in the next one